Hi, I'm Lauren Fix, and welcome to another episode of The Car Coach. You know, we review a lot of cars, but I always say you are what you drive. So, all right, if you're driving a brown, beige car, your personality probably matches that. But if you're driving a Tango Red Audi, I have a feeling you've got a lot of personality. So you're probably thinking right now, what are you driving? Well, I drive an Audi RS5, and it's panther black, and it's all black, and it's modified. Like me, I don't like to leave anything alone. However, we had the opportunity to drive the 2018 Audi S4. Now, I've owned two S4s, one in 2000, and then we had one in 2012. This is the 2018. It has got all new design. I really love that. Remember, Audi's the one that came up with the LED signature headlamps. And again, they've set the pace and created a whole new look. Now, the vehicle itself looks sleeker, is sexier, and it's a little bit bigger. And it seems like every generation they get just a little bit bigger, which I find interesting. But some of the technology that's in this car is super impressive, starting with the virtual cockpit and the new three liter engine. Let's take it for a spin. So inside the new 2018 Audi S4, immediately, the first thing you notice is amazingly comfortable seats. Yes, not just lumbar on both sides, but even better yet, massaging seats. Yes, there is a God. So thumbs up for lumbar approved. Oh, listen to that exhaust. That's in regular dynamic, which is the only mode I would even bother driving it. But wait, there's a sport mode. Now listen to the exhaust. Oh, the exhaust note is real. I've had many people with the windows down who've been riding with me wanting to hear this. Plenty of headroom, legroom for someone my height on 5'8", but I've had people sitting in the back that are six feet tall said the same thing. Next, the steering wheel. Love the beefy steering wheel with the grips. It's real leather, it's stitched. Again, top quality, but hey, it's an S4. This is not a cheap vehicle. Now we look in front of us, the first thing you're gonna see is visibility. I think there's excellent visibility. Uh, the vehicle that I'm test driving does not have an around view camera. It has a backup camera and it has parking sensors. I personally like the around view camera. If you've ever backed into anything, you would agree. Now, in addition, when it comes to technology, the multimedia interface that is available in the Audi is my favorite. This vehicle that we're test driving does not have head up display. However, it does have not just fuel economy and of course the audio system and the connection for your, for your uh, phone, which is Apple CarPlay, which I definitely like. And of course, Android Auto, it has my favorite, the virtual cockpit. Absolutely stunning. First came out in the TT. It's also available in the Q5 and the Q7. This is one of the big things that Audi has when it comes to technology. Everything I need is right here. Yes, there happens to be a center stack. Do I use it? I guess you need it to see like how you set your seat for a lumbar or something. But overall, this is fabulous. The new shifter is nice. You just pull it back to go into sport, pull it back again to go into drive. It's kind of weird that you press a button on the side of the shift lever to put it in park. I guess when you own a vehicle like this, you get used to it. The other interesting thing, which is really kind of a safety feature, that if you get out of the car and the vehicle's in park and maybe you didn't shut the vehicle off, I guess people do that, it'll shut itself off. It actually knows that there's no one sitting in the driver's seat. So if you take off the belt and you think you might potentially leave the vehicle running, there's a safety for that. So they do have a lot of safety features involved, but Audi is about safety, it's about technology, it's about performance, and it definitely has done that, so I give it two thumbs up. Overall, the flat bottom steering wheel, all little things that were thought of when they produced the Audi S4 for this year, they've corrected them. Like I said, there's a few minor things. Is it enough to be a make it or break it? Well, I don't know, there's a lot of competition in this field, not just from the Germans, but from other manufacturers. So when you're looking at this vehicle, and maybe you're looking at a Jaguar, or you're looking at some of the other vehicles that compete in this category, you definitely want to take them for a ride. You want seating comfort, visibility, safety, performance, all those things comes down to a bottom line of price. And don't forget to check the insurance ratings. People forget that all the time. It might be less expensive in a vehicle such as an Audi versus some other brand. So that's up to you to check. And remember, everybody's insurance rates are completely different. So overall, I think this is a really cool vehicle. The paddle shift, you really don't need it. These Tiptronic vehicles just shift so quickly. It's unbelievable. So I, I give it a lot of credit. I can't think of much else. I just kind of enjoy this car, especially the El Cantera. Oh yeah, it'd be nice if they had air-conditioned seats. But it's that or El Cantera. Tough call. So this 
there's a lot of vehicles in this category. Mercedes makes a great vehicle, BMW, Jaguar. There's a lot of product, not just on the German side, but also on the domestic side. So I'm not going to list them all. They're all listed down below. But what I can tell you is when you drive a vehicle like this, you can drive it year round. I actually drove an S4 year round. And you put winter tires on it. But this vehicle has literally every single thing you could want. There's one thing that's missing because, you know, I always got to find that little something on the edges. I wish it had air cooled seats. Necessary? No, but the other day it was 90 degrees and I wish I had it because the seats are black. However, the Alcantara interior does help a lot. I do like Alcantara. Anyhow, it's like a suede material. Overall, the vehicle is very impressive. I didn't find anything negative about it. I had actually a couple friends that are own these vehicles drive it and they were even more impressed than they already own S4s. So if you are what you drive, Tango Red Audi S4 makes a pretty big statement. So if you want some more information about this car, it's all down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and sign up for our free newsletter at laurenfix.com. Follow me on all forms of social media at laurenfix and check out our abc.com His Turn, Her Turn reviews with my co-host, Paul Bryan. Thanks so much for watching. Check out all the other vehicles that we have reviewed.